Alright fellow collectors, this is Defuser now and today we're going to take a look at the new Hot Toys Batman from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Now this has been my most anticipated figure this year. I was really looking forward to a Ben Affleck Batman in my collection and this one didn't disappoint me at all. I'm going to say right off the bat, no pun intended of course, um, that this is the best Batman figure that Hot Toys has ever made. I really love the look that the suit has, um, it's actually my favorite bat suit to ever appear on film. Um, I like it even more than the 89 version which was previously my favorite suit but yeah I like this one even more. So I knew I had to have this figure in my collection of course. Now there are actually four different versions of this figure. You got the regular edition, you got the special edition which includes an extra sniper rifle. Then you got this version which I have with the tech cow and you have another version with Tech Cow and Sniper Rifle. Now that all sounds a bit confusing and it really is because I don't really know why Hot Toys have decided to make this many versions of one figure. Now I've seen most people that go for the Tech Cow and Sniper Rifle combination but that one is really expensive on eBay right now but yeah in fact they all are. Um, if you want your figures early after release from Hong Kong you have to pay a few extra bucks to get them that early um, but I didn't mind that. Uh, because, like I said earlier, this is my most anticipated figure this year um, and I couldn't wait any longer. But yeah, let's take a closer look of this amazing looking figure. Alright, so let's start first with the head sculpt, which looks absolutely amazing. I think Hot Toys has done a great job of capturing the likeness of Ben Affleck here. You can really see that it's him under the cowl, even here in the side profile. So yeah, I think that Hot Toys has done a great job of sculpting this almost to perfection. The cow comes actually with uh, three different mouth plates and I'm going to show you how they look on this figure right now. So you have this closed mouth and then one which is slightly open. And last you have this full angry looking faceplate. This is actually my least favorite one because I think it doesn't really look like a Ben Affleck now. Alright, so let's take a closer look at his suit. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, this is my favorite bat suit to ever appear on film. I really love the look that it has. It has all kinds of scratches and this battle damaged look is very lightly done but it's there um, and I really love that it's like he's been in a battle or he's been wearing it for a long time and that's exactly the look that they were going for in the movie and it really shows in this figure like here on the bat symbol we can see all kinds of scratches really nicely detailed also really like the, the pattern that they used on the suit it's also very detailed. And I've actually seen some people that uh, highlighted these scratches by painting them, but I'm not the kind of person that wants to mess with these figures that much. I'd like to keep everything original. Hot Toys has also made changes to the app section. Um, in the early prototype pictures you could see that the, the, the stomach was a little bit more flat. I mean he had muscles, but uh, the definition of the muscles was not as good as you see now and I'm glad that they've made the changes because this looks more movie accurate to me. I've also seen a lot of people that had problems with um, posing the head and then covering up the top of the bat symbol right here. 
Um, but as you can see, I've put mine as far down as I could, the head, and mine doesn't cover the bat symbol at all. It leaves a fairly big gap here between the symbol and the cow. And you can also see that the tip of my cow is slightly raised here. Um, I don't know exactly why that is. I've seen some other people that had the same. Yeah, I don't know if it's a problem because it's supposed to be right here on the chest, flat. But I suppose I can fix that with a bit of um, hot water or a hair dryer maybe and push it down a little further down his chest so it, is, it stays there. And even if you press this small tip a bit down, it still doesn't cover the bat symbol. So yeah, I guess I'm lucky. Now let's take a closer look at his cape. Like always there's good things and bad things about Hot Toys capes. Um, let's start off first with the good thing about this one. That I really like the fabric they've used. It really looks movie accurate, some sort of a vinyl. And I also like the dirt that is here. And the bad thing is that the cape Although it looks great, but it almost doesn't have any weight to it. It's very light, almost feels a bit like paper. I don't know how to explain it. You really have to feel it for yourself. And it doesn't drape or fall naturally to me. Um, I still hope that Tony May is doing a custom cape for this one, because I would really love one. In terms of accessories, you get quite a lot with this figure. You get four batarangs, a grenade launcher with two grenades, six extra hands, there are already two on the figure, so eight in total. It's grapnel gun with a few extra pieces for action poses, a couple of extra packs, uh, of course the mouthpieces, and here on top you see two sets of eyes and of course the small device to install and remove the eyes from the cow. Alright, so you get this small device and that enables you to grab a hold of the set and then you have to remove the cow and get on the inside, install the eyes and it's a much safer way than the purse system. It's not the easiest thing to do um, but yeah like I said I think it's much safer uh, than the purse system so I'm glad that Hot Toys came up with this system because I really like it a lot and I'd like to see it on future figures as well and of course you got the tech cow which is easily the best accessory of the whole set I didn't get the set with the sniper rifle because yeah I'm probably never going to display the sniper rifle anyway, so yeah, I didn't need to have that one. Um, I just went for the tech cow because I really like that accessory and it really adds a lot to my display. Um, so I can highly recommend this accessory um, if you're thinking about which version you go for. Um, you can always go for the regular edition uh, without the tech cow because that's easily the, the cheapest option, but if you can afford an extra few bucks for another version I can highly recommend this tech cow and if you go all out with the sniper rifle then yeah it's all up to you which version you choose but yeah like I said I can highly recommend the set with either the sniper and tech cow or tech cow because this thing looks amazing
Now I almost forgot about this accessory. Um, I've already put it on the figure, that's why I almost forgot it. But this thing he uses in a movie to mark or brand his foes or opponents. And it's a really cool um, accessory. And that's why I put it on the figure. That's the only accessory I've used on the figure so far. Now the figure originally comes with this stand and although it looks great I think it's way too big for my display cabinet. I'm going to put three different figures uh, next to each other and if they all have three of these large bases yeah it, it'll never going to fit so I'm just going to replace this stand with this one and again this decal this custom decal is made by Joe Turner. If you want to contact him and get your own custom decals I'll leave a link in the description below. There's one thing I still wanted to mention about the original stand and that is that this bat symbol, uh, this Batman vs Superman symbol lifts up and it's a very neat little feature. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have the room for it. So yeah, I won't be displaying this stand and I'm going to use the custom one. And here are some final shots of the figure in my display cabinets next to the Armored Batman and the Arkham City Batman. Now everyone that owns the Arkham City Batman knows that this is quite a large figure so you can imagine how big these other two are. I'm thinking about doing a size comparison video between all the Batman figures I have in my collection so you can see all the differences between them. And I'm also going to do a video of course about the Armored Batman very soon so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so there you have it, it's the Hot Toys Batman from Batman vs Superman. This really is an outstanding looking figure. The head sculpt looks nearly perfect, the suit looks great and even the articulation is better than you would expect from a figure in a tight suit. And also the accessories are fantastic. Even though I didn't like the cape very much, that's more of a personal thing, I still hope that Tony May will make a custom one for it. But yeah. This could very well be my figure of the year, it's that good. If you're on the fence about it, please wait for the price to drop on eBay because the price they're asking for right now is crazy, it's definitely not worth it. So wait for it to be available locally and you will be very happy with it. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video guys, it will be about the Armored Batman from Batman vs Superman. Thanks for watching and this is Diffuse and I'm signing out.